Hello and welcome to your Cruddy Mindset for Gradings Hypnosis Track. So you've been invited by your sensei to attend the next grading, so congratulations. As I'm sure technically you're ready to grade, obviously that's why your sensei has invited you. But I'm guessing you've downloaded this track because maybe your mind is already starting to spin with some of the what-if scenarios that we all go through, or maybe you're feeling a little nervous about the upcoming grading, and that's okay. You see, every credit card before you has had to grade, and many have gone through what you're going through now. And the good news is they've all survived. And they've gone on to grade again many, many, many more times. And they've also learned to conquer those nerves. To add to that, many others don't get the pre-grading nerves. And that's all to do with their mindset and what they focus on and how they control their nerves before the grading. This credit mindset recording is going to allow you to first relax your mind through the use of hypnosis. When your mind is relaxed, you can start to change what your mind focuses on. At the end of this recording, you'll have learned how to control any grading nerves you have and how to focus on a successful grading. Now, as this is a hypnosis track, it's important that you don't listen to it while driving or operating any kind of machinery that requires your full attention. So go ahead and make yourself comfortable, preferably lying down, and get ready to go into a deep and relaxing trance. So as you lay there, just keep your eyes open for a few moments, and just allow your hands to rest gently by your side. And keep your eyes on a point in front of you, just a point a little bit above eye level on the wall or the ceiling. Now you've focused on that point, I want you to take a long, relaxing breath in. And as you exhale, just allow the tension to release from your body. Notice just how comfortable that feels. And you can go and take another long, relaxing breath in. And as you exhale, you can become aware that things start to change a little. Maybe you can notice your vision starting to become a bit hazy. And that's a sign that you're getting tired. starting to relax and as you listen to my voice you begin to notice something you probably never noticed before you can notice those tiny little muscles in your eyelids those delicate little muscles that become fatigued and tired just want to close and you can begin to enjoy that tired sensation. And you can go ahead and let your eyes rest and close if you like now. With your eyes closed you can allow your mind to notice any new sensations you might be experiencing. Notice how your mind is just allowing thoughts to come and go. Or notice that sensation in the shoulder. Because with your eyes closed, it becomes easier and easier to become aware of many wonderful things. Thoughts, sensations, feelings, and how some things just feel different. As your mind begins to experience that letting go feeling, as even the effort it takes to notice the position of an arm all seems like too much effort. 
it must be nice to be so relaxed now that you can't be bothered to notice which leg seems to relax more than the other. And it takes time to become so relaxed. And this is your time, in your own time, will realize just how relaxed you've become. In fact, so relaxed that even the effort it takes to listen to the sound of my voice or the meaning of my words all just seems too much. As you let my words wander, flow down with you now to that place of trance and unconscious mind. The quiet mind can still learn and listen and make changes while your conscious mind drifts down deeper, deeper, deeper to that place of trance. That place where space and time don't exist. It's time for changes to occur at the unconscious level. My voice will guide you as you came here today to make all these positive changes to your future performance. The karate grading is like any performance we want to do our best. Our mind gets excited and wants us to do well. Our mind also wants to keep us safe and that's a good thing. The best way to keep us safe is to control our mind and our emotions so we can do our best. You may have experienced your own mind working in this way before. It gives us signals like butterflies in our tummy. Or like something else you can leave in the past. Like shaky leaves on a tree when the wind settles, the leaves fall still and calm. Calm is good, calm and ready. So let's explore how you can use your mind to be ready and calm. Because you've been invited to your grading because you're ready. You've already proven you can do everything required to pass. The only thing required now is to allow your mind to let you know you're ready and calm. And I want you to imagine yourself at your upcoming grading as if it's happening now. See the setup of the dojo? Your sensei ready for his students to give and do their best demonstrate the skills they've learned in class. You've practiced your technique over and over and you know it well. You know you do. Of course, you feel some different sensations in your body as you stand ready. The grading always feels just a little different to class. That's a good thing. That's your brain letting you know you're ready. Some people call it nervousness. It's okay to feel these sensations as it's your mind telling your body to get ready. You are ready and excited, so like that time you felt excited about a ride in an amusement park 
or some other time of the day. When the excited feeling you can now notice, how it's the same as that nervous feeling. You can call it excitement because excitement and nervousness both feel the same. So now you are excited about your grading, and that's a nicer way to think. As an excited mind can also be an alert and relaxed mind, and it's time for you to enjoy this signal. This signal your body and mind are ready at its excitement and use it to improve your performance. So let's explore, maybe you experience those butterflies in your tummy. Or some people get funny sensations in their arms, or hands, and their legs. Which do you get? Do you get some? Or do you get all? These are signals from your mind sent to keep you alert, vigilant, and ready for something to happen. These are all vital to a great performance, a great grading. So you're excited and ready to grade. Now that you've noticed these signs, these signals, it's time, it's your time to learn to control those nerves, that excitement building. And you can control them because you don't want to get too excited. Just excited enough to do your best. Alert and ready to notice any sensations rather than hide them or ignore them or pretend they aren't there. So imagine yourself standing ready to grade. Get a sense of all those sensations in your body and feel them now as if you're really there. Allow yourself to imagine and feel those butterflies in your tummy. Just notice what way are they flying? Are they flying up and down? Clockwise? Anti-clockwise? They're your butterflies and it's time for you to tame them now. Just want you to change their direction. Make those butterflies fly in the opposite direction. And notice how that changes everything about the sensation. You can slow them down, you can calm them. Just tame those butterflies. And notice how that nervous excitement simmers to just a nice sense of readiness, confident readiness. Your mind focused and sharp. And now that you've controlled those excited little butterflies, you're ready as you stand there ready to grade Allow yourself to notice any other nervous excitement sensations you're feeling. Maybe it's your hands or your arms. Feel a little shaky. Or is it your legs? Maybe they aren't, maybe they are. Some people do, some people don't. But just like the butterflies, you can control. Just like the tree, as the wind blows the leaves, the leaves shake but the trunk stays solid, firm and ready. The tree looks confident it can handle any storm, and so do you. Now, allow that sensation of a tree trunk. Solid, firm and ready to enter your core, your trunk, your body. Now allow that solid, stable sensation to expand down into your right leg pushing any nervous tingling sensation down through the soles of your feet and out into the ground away from you now. Do the same with your left leg. Allow that solid, confident core feeling to expand down through your left leg until it too feels strong, confident and ready. 
do the same with your arms. Left arm first, pushing any tingly, funny sensations and allow them to flow out from the palm of your hand. Gone, now, and into your right arm. Strength, letting any nervous sensation flow out of the palms. As you stand here, ready, alert, 100% confident. Solid like a tree. Notice what 100% confidence looks like. How do you stand with your shoulders? How is your breathing? Your focus. That's right. Stand like that because you know how to be confident. Your name about to be called, become aware and absorb how different this feels. You've, not, you've acknowledged that nervous excitement, but you've controlled it. You're feeling good, solid, strong, your body feels confident, your mind ready. The only thing you need to focus on now is the very next move. When that's done, the next move, one at a time. See yourself now performing that very first move with strength, confidence, and presence. Your stance feels strong. Your sensei takes notes. And that builds your confidence. Now run through each move, each technique that you know you've practiced before. You perform them exactly as you've been taught, but better with that confident, excited energy flowing into every technique gives you the extra edge. And as you lay there, you can allow your mind to wander through the whole grading as if it's a little movie in your mind. Executing perfectly each of the techniques you've practiced. With each move, notice how your confidence builds. How good does it feel? Confidence building, technique improving, and you know you're doing a great grading. And sometimes, anytime those excited little nerves try and kick in again, and they will try, the difference is you now have complete control over them. You notice them, and you control them, and you remain focused on the technique. And allow that movie to go through all the way to the end of your grading and bow to your sensei. Knowing you've done your very best and that's all your sensei asked for. And as you wait for your results and your new belt, just allow these new learnings to sink in as you stand there. Where in the past you may have allowed your performance nerves to take over your performance. As you stand there waiting for your belch, notice how you're now in complete control of your performance nerves. And that's exciting too. Your sensei called your name and you step forward. They congratulate you on a spirited grading and you receive your new belt. As you put it on, Look down and feel that sense of pride in earning your new karate belt. But also a sense of pride in learning something new about your body and your mind today. That you are in control of your mind and that's a true karate mindset. As you lay there now absorbing everything you've learned, you've gained a grading in karate, and a new ability to control your emotions in any situation. Let's do a little exercise. I want you to take yourself out to another time, maybe another grading situation. Maybe it's going for your next belt. And you're standing on the side of the tatami ready to perform. Allow and become aware of those nerves trying to build as they would have in the past. 
get a sense again of any butterflies and which way they might be flying. Any nervous tension in your arms or your legs. This time, you know you have a secret tool. In a second, you're going to control those nerves. Not just yet. When you go to control the nerves this time, you're going to touch your ring finger and your thumb together as you calm those butterflies and make strong your body. So imagine this time in the future now and those nerves, those excited nerves are building. And on my count from three to one, on one you're going to touch your fingers. So allow those nerves to build and on three, two, one, touch your fingers and instantly notice how those butterflies calm, stay strong, confident, instantly from your core. Nerves gone, energy lifted. Let's try that one more time. Just release those fingers. Imagine and allow that nervous tension to build again. Get those butterflies flowing whatever way they were. Any sensations in your arms or legs that you might have had before. Feel it, sense it, let it build, let it build. And on three, two, one, trigger your fingers, touching your fingers together and notice how calm, confident and in full control you are. That's right. Butterflies flowing in the direction you want. And now you have this amazing tool you can take with you anywhere, be it in the dojo or in life. So let's just take a moment to allow your mind to wander to maybe another grade in the future. This time you don't even allow those nerves to build as you walk towards the max. You trigger your fingers together and release and instantly calm, alert, ready and confident. And as you lay there now you can Allow your mind to wander out to other areas of your life where this new tool would be useful. Maybe it's other areas of your life where you get a little bit nervous or butterflies in your tummy. And notice how you can use this magic trigger by touching your fingers together. Butterflies flow and fly in formation. Slow, calm, relaxed. Any area of your life. Okay, now it's time to bring all you've learned back to today and start using it and building on it for your upcoming rating. I'm going to count from five to one. And at five, just allow your mind to wander back into the room where you are now. And four, you can become aware of how your legs are touching the surface below you. And three, you can notice the temperature of your hands and wiggle your fingers. And two, you can open your eyes and one, fully awake and alert, feeling relaxed, fresh and ready to get on with your day. Welcome back from your hypnotic journey and what a journey it was. By training your karate mindset, you've just learned a very useful tool that you can use in your upcoming grading to help you control those pre-grading nerves and focus on a successful outcome. And you've also learned how you can use this in any other area of your life. So enjoy your grading. Let us know how you go. Thank you.